NASA observes the Earth from land, air, and space to better understand the environmental changes taking place on our home planet. Over the next several months, the NASA Airborne Science Program will send its fleet of flying laboratories to locations around the world to study the air we breathe, tropical storms and hurricanes, melting polar ice sheets, and how ecosystems respond to climate change. NASA scientists will study ground-level air pollution in the Denver area in the fourth and final field campaign of the Discover AQ mission. The NASA P-3B and B-200 Airborne Laboratories will measure pollution along Colorado's Front Range, which routinely experiences unhealthy levels of ozone in the summer. The goal of Discover AQ is to better understand surface conditions where people live and breathe, so future satellites can be used more effectively to measure air quality in the lower atmosphere. The Hurricane and Severe Storm Sentinel, or HS3 mission, will study hurricane intensity change in the North Atlantic using two specially equipped Global Hawk Uninhabited Aerial Vehicles, or UAVs. The remotely piloted aircraft are uniquely suited for hurricane research. They fly almost twice as high as commercial aircraft for as long as 30 hours, providing continuous measurements above and around developing storms. The use of the Global Hawks is very complementary to satellites. Uh, satellites give you a broad view of things over the entire Atlantic Basin, but you only get maybe one or two snapshots a day. With the Global Hawk, you're not seeing as wide of an area, but you're seeing an, a, a fixed area for a fairly continuous period of time. Three NASA airborne campaigns will study changes in Earth's polar environments. The multi-year Operation Icebridge mission returns to Punta Arenas, Chile, where the DC-8 Airborne Laboratory will fly south to measure sea ice, glaciers, and ice sheets over key regions in West Antarctica. We are going back every year over the same glacier in Antarctica and measure with uh, extreme precision how the uh, surface elevation has changed from year to year. And that tells us how much ice Antarctica is losing. Two other NASA airborne missions will study the impact of warming temperatures in the Arctic. The ARISE campaign will use the NASA C-130 aircraft to measure Arctic cloud properties and surface characteristics over open water, land and sea ice to see how the climate in the region is changing. And the five-year CARVE experiment will measure carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. We are making airborne measurements of the principal gases that would be given off by the decomposition of thawing permafrost. We think that they are susceptible to very rapid release and this could be a significant perturbation to not only the climate in the Arctic, but the entire world's climate system. The NASA Airborne Science Program is on a mission to monitor the health of our planet. <laughs>